Man, I think Photoshop is dead now. I'm about to let you know of one of my Kittle AI design secrets. So I just made a video on using ChatGPT and now I'm gonna have to push it forward and put this one in front of it because I just found out ChatGPT is now built into Kittle. And what's also crazy, you might have heard the crazy news of Nano Banana, which is also now in Kittle. So it's 10 times faster than what you've seen recently with the AI stuff and it's even cheaper when it comes to the use of their credits. So what's crazy is that Kittle and Usage just have like these templates where you just edit this one. But now they even have the whole entire creative flow on like, for example, how you can create this Chrome text. Look, check this out. So it shows you exactly how they went from this text right here all the way up to this Chrome text. But here's the magic. They give you the prompt right here. So let's say you have your own logo already and it looks just like this one and you want it to look like one of these. All you have to do is upload your logo, click on a smart board, pick one of these that you like. For example, I'm going to go with this one, copy this prompt right here and I'm going to paste it here. But now check it out. They have nano banana. You see how much time these were taking and look, this is faster and it's cheaper in the amount of credits. But I'm also gonna show you a way that you can use this that's not in the Kittle flows that will probably be pretty crazy for you. Damn, look at that. There go the logo from that. Man, I think Photoshop is dead now. I don't know how long you guys been designing, but I picked up Photoshop and Illustrator around 2003, 2004. And this right here, we used to like watch endless tutorials how to create all these different Chrome effects, download different style effects. You guys have no idea how much time. The things like this used to take and it used to be like mind blowing crazy stuff back then was creating effects like this. And now you guys are creating it in a few seconds. I'm honestly at a loss for words. All right, so here's what's going to be crazy for you guys using Nano Banana. What Nano Banana is known for right now is being able to be extremely consistent. You know how sometimes you're using AI design and you're telling it to do something to a picture and then it messes something up. Like it could be like a little bit of text. It could be the headlight of the car. It could be like they turn into pants into shorts. But supposedly Nano Banana is extremely consistent. So this is a cool thing that you can do as well. This is an old picture of my cousin. He's modeling an after hours hoodie that we sold. He has on some skinny jeans right here, but we're about to throw on these Balenciaga pants onto him. And then we're gonna try to create like a studio background and then have this Porsche 911 behind him, this older Porsche 911. And let's go ahead and combine all of these things. So I'm gonna head on over to Smartboard. And here's one of my magic secrets right here. And it shouldn't even be a secret, but a lot of people think that they should come up with their own problem. Like, I want the Porsche in the background with a studio set white background pants on the model yeah that that then used to work but now what i typically do is i make ai create my prompts for me which is where a lot of the magic happens and it makes the image come out a whole lot better so they have chat gpt built in here now i just found out but it says beta so i'm gonna see if this works the same way i typically use chat gpt so i'm gonna say I have a photo, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like the prompt that uh, ChatGPT gave me on here. Kittle, you guys can use this as feedback. So this is how I would do it. I'll take this right here. I'm just gonna paste the image over here. I'm gonna copy my prompt. Now I told it to give me my prompt. Now it says studio fashion photo shoot for male model, standing confidently. I don't know. I hope it works. Maybe the original one would have worked as well, to be honest. So we can actually test both. So we'll try this one, Nano Banana. We'll click one more time and then I'm going to do it one more time and try to keep it simple. And let's see if this worked. Man, I can already see a sample up here and I could tell you his shoes are the same shoes he's wearing in the photo. So that's what's really consistent about Nano Banana. It's like, for example, sometimes they would tweak the shoes a little bit or like they'll change the shoes and whatnot. And these photos are coming out really fast. <laughs> so the model is not the same. I would say it's a bad photo. You can't really see him clearly, but we'll try a different one. I would say he's very consistent from here to here. And the actual hoodie is not consistent like what people have been saying. But everything else is pretty crazy though. How it took the car studio wipe. I think I like this one of the best. Actually, this one was the one from Kittle's chat GPT. So uh, maybe you guys don't need my feedback. This was the one from the way I tried to do it. I don't think that was that great. And then this is the one that I just typed in regularly, uh, like combine all the photos, put the pants on the model. The one from Kiddo's chat worked out the best. So it looks pretty good. It looks pretty crazy. Uh, what we need to do is upload that design to put it onto that actual hoodie though. So let's go ahead and try that. So if I'm being honest, I don't know where this design file is, but I'm gonna try to put a different design on it and see how that turns out. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really don't know how I could put this design onto this hoodie using AI on Kiddo. 
So maybe someone comment down below, let me know how you would do it. All I did to get it off of the hoodie though, I just told the AI to take that design off. But I know what you could do <laughs> is we could get the design onto a similar model, right? So what we would do is we'll open the AI and let's say I have a design and I want that sand photo shoot style, but this design on a gray hoodie on the male model. So it told me I could just upload the design here and it would do it here. But I also just wanted uh, the prompt so I could do it over here, honestly. For some reason, I just love how Kittle Flow works. I just love like just seeing the process, the journey alone. But I'm also gonna upload it here and we'll see how it looks. So here we also have it here. We got the guy, we got the design. I just, I don't know about the car. That's why I like how we used uh, the Kittle Flow earlier in providing the actual image because we have the photo accurate version of the car. This is like some kind of made up, like a half Huracan and uh, I don't know what's going back there. So yeah. So definitely do something like this, how we did it over here. Let's come up with something better. Let's go ahead and find a good model picture. I think everything needs to be high quality. A lot of people show you perfect examples. I'm walking you through all the troubleshooting and then we'll come up with the perfect one at the end. So I typed in 1987 Porsche 911. And what I think you need to do, I think we need a really high res photo. I'm going to do large, tool size large. This one was a nice size large photo uh it's actually bad quality okay i like this one this one's kind of a different angle let's go ahead and give it a shot so i'm gonna open this one okay this one's a pretty high res image copy this one paste it over here boom and then we have a high res image of the model and then let's see if we could change his shoes okay so now we have shoes car and person so let's go ahead and do the chat all right so i got the prompt from here we're gonna go ahead and click here and we're gonna go ahead and generate. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, so <laughs> this is what I got the first time. It changed his shoes for me, but uh, where'd my hoodie go? So I literally just had to add one prompt and told it to keep my hoodie. And you know, obviously it's a whole different guy. It's not very consistent with that. Um, Did change his shoes though. And it preserved most of the actual hoodie itself. Like it looks pretty similar to the original. And it's kind of crazy that I could get all of that from an angle uh, because it does have an R right here, but it is cut off. So it was probably kind of hard to see that. And it did keep his same pants over there and change to the shoes that I wanted to. And there the car is pretty crazy because you know what? It gave me the front end version of that car, but it's the same exact one from here. But if you just tell it to give you a car, it ends up giving you like some kind of made up car. So pretty crazy when it comes to like AI models and stuff. I still think it's a huge win when it comes to the actual effects itself. For example, right here, you have this text right here just says stay kind. Imagine you could just input your logo, whatever text you want it to say, and you can literally turn it into any of these things right here because they already give you the prompt to do so like for example this right here back in the day man used to be the coolest thing in the world to be able to create this type of text but now you're able to do this in a heartbeat like check this out it already kind of looks like my name let's go ahead and do this right here now you're 20 now you're, now you're 40 so now i'm gonna add an artboard this right here copy that one bring it on over here nano banana it's faster and it's cheaper boom look at that man that's pretty crazy if you live in today's age you, it's kind of hard to understand how revolutionary this is so you can even use the flows to do something like this if you're creating your own ad check it out all you gotta do is change the text change the image you can use the prompts that's already in here i really love this right here how it turned into like that vector style art this something right here like that futuristic tech looking kind of ordeal you got something like this one this one's also cool so you have all of these kiddo templates like tem they they've taken templates to a whole nother level it's not even just templates anymore it's templates and flows and it's damn near a done for you service at this point all right so last bit of fun right here i have this cool design Design from I don't know a while back let's go ahead and upload it all right so I have this pretty interesting after hours design from a while back I really like it too it says after hours discipline burnout dreams built from late nights and sweet revenge but I want to see it in this style right here so let's go ahead and see what we can come up with that's it that's the whole prompt turn this into a modern and bubbly 3d object and there he goes right there that is pretty crazy it looks like a 3d toy and i just spit everywhere if this video helps you out go ahead and comment like subscribe let me know down below how creative your 
we're coming up with some things obviously there's things that's not perfect but i love it whenever you're on your journey and you can see that you know have a little bit of patience and have a little bit of fun because that's what i had and it made it feel like i made no mistakes whatsoever so go ahead and give this a shot and if you go ahead and sign up with kittle use my link down below because on september 29th to october 3rd they're allowing you to use nano banana unlimited without any use of any tokens whatsoever so it's just gonna be unlimited use those few days go ahead and give it a shot